Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I've got to say the best thing I, the best feeling I ever get is when I get an actual use case or a challenge from a customer who has a need, and um, I can show them a really elegant method to do it and uh, create some geometry that they can use. So this uh, example came from um, an actual request, and now I'm going to show you how I made this geometry. Uh, in order to do so, I am going to create a brand new file. And I'll do it in inches. Uh, lots of times I work in millimeters, but uh, you know it doesn't matter. Um, you'll get the uh, gist of what I'm doing here. And uh, I'm going to call this um, test 21. It's an inch file. I say, okay. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to do, uh, as in many cases, is uh, create with control E some variables that I'm going to use to control everything. So I'm going to have a D1, and that's going to be 12 inches. Uh, that's the uh, center line of the whole ring. I'm going to have a D2, uh, which is going to be one inch. Um, that's cool. Um, let's see. Then I'm going to have an N variable, N, and that's the number of turns. I'll put 20 there. And so I want to make that unitless because that's just n. It's going to be a multiplier. Number of turns. Um, and then I think I'll have another one called phase. And that is going to be a angular, um, uh, an angular offset. So I've got to go to angle. And we're going to start that off at 100 degrees. And uh, <clears throat> then I need a pitch. So pitch, P-I-T-C-H. Pitch is going to be um, D1 times P-I, left print, right print, uh, divided by N. So now we know the pitch. Uh-oh, it got a little messed up here when I typed in, okay, P-I, left print, right print, slash, N. There. I needed to put a space after the N so it didn't do that crazy thing. Okay. So the pitch is like 1.8. Um, D1 is 12. Uh, D2 is 1, 20. Okay, so this is good. All the variables are there course, when I put the variables in and I select upon the, uh, the uh, part navigator and I go to user expressions, they're all there for me to use. And uh, the very first thing I'm going to do now is uh, create a sketch on the XY plane, like so. And I'm going to put a circle on the center of that sketch, like so. And I'm going to put a dimension on that circle. And of course, uh, this is going to be D1. And yes, I want to scale it and fit. Okay. And did you know that a circle actually has a start and end point? And if I go to the uh, point creation tool and I put it on end point and I select that circle, the point goes to the um, three o'clock position. So that's a special uh, property of circles and ellipses that uh, really is important to know sometimes when you're doing surfacing. Okay, so the very next thing I'm going to do is go to surface and I'm going to go to tube. And my tube diameter is D2, just like this, D2. And um, no inner diameter. And I just say, okay, because the uh, big circle is selected. Now I need a surface from this um, or at some point well I don't need to make it a surface but at some point I'm going to put a helix on here and I'm going to do a subdivide so that's how I'm going to get this kind of tape like structure and so to do that I'm going to go to curve and I'm going to go to helix um, let me just hide the tube for a second and the helix has an along spine function and I'm going to select that like this. Uh, my starting angle is going to be zero. My uh, diameter 
<clears throat> is going to be D2. So it's going to match the diameter of the uh, it's going to match the diameter of the um, of the of the tube. Um, we'll see in your moment there. Um, the pitch is actually the variable. I type in P I and I get that. And then the number of turns is N. And there we go. I say okay, I say apply. Okay. Now I'm going to need another helix, only this one is going to be, it's going to be, everything's the same, but the angle that it starts is going to be out of phase, so that's why I made a variable called phase. And I'm going to select the spline again and say, okay, great. And now I'm just going to bring back the tube and say, okay. And now I can go into home more subdivide or divide face, and I'm going to to select the face of the tube, and I'm going to select the two helixes, helices, heli, <laughs> and say OK. So now that I have a subdivided face, I can simply do a thicken. And as I'm sure you're aware, the thicken command makes a separate solid um, of a single face or multiple, multiple faces. And I'm going to thicken it from, let's say, 0 to um, point, uh, I should have made a variable called thickness. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in THK equals point zero five. Enter. And I'm going to just select there and, and say, okay. So there you have the thickened piece of geometry. I'm going to say control B and, uh, hide all of that. Control B and hide that. And there you have it. It's the tape that is wrapped around some sort of um, a set of curves. Or if you um, had a bunch of wires that you wanted to wrap this tape around, um, you could do it uh, this way. So um, that's a very, very nice technique. Of course, let's make it a little fancy. Um, let's go to the um, animation designer and we're going to uh, create a rigid body out of this. And we're going to uh, create a rigid body, oops, rigid body out of the coordinate system at large. Say okay. And then we can go and make a revolute joint. Let's bring up the uh, animation navigator. So we can make a revolution, uh, revolute joint where the uh, thicken is being rotated about the uh, coordinate system uh, with an axis that goes up the z-axis and say OK. And then to that revolute joint, we could add a speed motor. I'll select the motor. I'll put in 20 and say OK and say Control J. And let's give it a little pizzazz there. Let's give it a little color like so. Okay, apply and let's go into uh, view uh, style, true shading editor. Love the true shading editor. That's nice. Let's hide this. Control B. Let's hit the uh, W key to get rid of the coordinate system. Let's hit the play button. And there you go. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. If you uh, liked this video, please um, hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope you uh, enjoy very much the uh, process of modeling things in NX, building them, and uh, I hope you enjoy the creative process. Thank you very much.